groundbreaking, army that replaces Mad Maxine in DC after exposing her dirty tricks on live TV. A 10-year army veteran who served two tours in Afghanistan is completely fed up with Mad Maxine Waters. Ricky Taylor, who put his life on the line to keep America free, is laser-focused on exposing Wacky Waters' latest dirty tricks. He made sure the California Congresswoman knew to shut the hell up, on live TV, and now, he is replacing Wacky Waters in Washington, D.C. Mad Maxine's latest stunt is to boycott President Donald Trump's State of the Union address, and she outright lied about her motives. One Army veteran took huge offense with her crackpot reasoning. Wacky Waters plays identity politics with everything she does, and this is no different. She framed her boycott with blatant lies and rude statements, and that's when Ricky Taylor had heard enough. Maxine got Taylor's attention when she started spewing hatred toward Trump and giving her lame reasoning for boycotting the Satu. I have called him, Trump, what I know him to be for a long time. Remember when I called him a scumbag? I've called him a racist, deplorable, despicable, adding to what others are calling him, a moron, ignorant, on and on and on. The United States of America is being represented by the most despicable human being that could possibly ever walk the earth, said Waters, according to the Daily Caller. Why would I take my time to go and sit and listen to a liar, to someone who lies in the face of facts, to someone who can change their tune day in and day out? Waters said Friday in an interview on MSNBC's All In With Chris Hayes, reports The Hill. What does he have to say that I would be interested in? I don't trust him, I don't appreciate him, and I wouldn't waste my time sitting in that house listening to what he has to say. He does not deserve my attention, screamed Mad Maxine, throwing her arms up and down acting like a drama queen. Taylor got the attention of the media after he posted a tweet, which reads, At Fox News everyone please help and retweet. I would like to take Maxine Waters' seats at the State of the Union address. If they don't want to go this military veteran would gladly go. I'd tell the president how much he means to myself, family, military, and all of his supporters. Army veteran Ricky Taylor is a racial minority, exactly the type of person anti-Maxine pretends to care about and represent. He's half African American, half Puerto Rican, and he shamed Waters on Fox and Friends, telling her, there's so many Trump supporters out there that are minorities. She doesn't speak for everybody, she surely doesn't speak for me. The Afghanistan war veteran, whose Twitter handle is Deplorable Vet, was shocked by the amount of support he got from his fellow deplorables. Taylor's sick and tired of Mad Maxine's total disrespect to our president, as he added, she does this for a publicity stunt. She does it to kind of pander to her audience. And, I just thought it was extremely disrespectful for her to say that about the president. The deplorable vid is exposing Mad Maxine's dirty tricks. Boycotting the Satu address is pandering at its worst, as she incites racist animus toward the president. That's why Ricky Taylor was visibly upset on live TV when Fox's Brian Kilmeade said, What bothers you is, you dislike the fact that Waters thinks she speaks for all black people. That's when Taylor fought fire with fire bringing attention to his racial background and making it clear Maxine Waters can basically shut the hell up as she does not speak for me. The army that retweeted one Trump supporter's feelings on his crusade to take Wacky Waters' seat, boasting, good, because nobody wants the vile stench of ghetto queen at rep Maxine Waters polluting the Satu address. Now, Mad Maxine's stunt is backfiring on her, big time. Presidential staffers search the country for citizens to invite to the State of the Union address with one goal in mind, to highlight patriots who bring a certain message with their presence. Who better than a 10-year army veteran who served two tours in Afghanistan and is proud to have Donald Trump as his commander-in-chief? As this report was being written, Mad World News got great news from Ricky Taylor. It's official. I am going to the State of the Union address. Thanks to Representative for Wisconsin's 7th District Sean Duffy at Rep. Sean Duffy for personally inviting me as his guest. I am extremely thankful for this. Couldn't have done it without all of you and at folks and friends, he tweeted. We couldn't be happier for him. God bless him. All Americans are so proud to have a veteran replace Mad Maxine. Maxine.